Hello, eighth grade U.S. history students. Uh, welcome to week eight. This is the very last assessment before uh, week nine, which is just reassessment and then the end of quarter three and spring break. So we thought we'd do something fun. And here's what it is. You guys are going to be playing a game uh, about the Bill of Rights where you are a lawyer. This game is called Do I Have a Right? And so uh, my job in this video is to show you how to access the game. Uh, this is where you'll be doing a lot of your you know, content exploration, but we're actually also going to use it as the assessment. So you're going to upload your um, you know, completion uh, report, uh, the certificate that you get uh, up into Canvas to show us that you completed it. I mean, we can see it from our side too, but then you can kind of reflect on like what you learned and that'll be you know, your assessment. So it's important that you learn how to use this game uh, because this is going to be a, a big part about what we're doing this week. Okay, so um, to access the game, you'll click right here, either here or here. Um, I've got login instructions with screenshots. First, you're going to go to the Google Classroom, uh, click on the assignment there. When you're in iCivics, you're going to click sign in. Then you're going to find your classes. Underneath classes, you're going to see the assignment and you're going to click right here where it says uh, start assignment. And then um, before you play the game, you take like a really short just pretest that has some general questions about the Bill of Rights and whether or not you have a right to, to do certain things. Uh, okay, so once we click on this, um, we are going to get to here and I'm going to start playing. So this game is um, all about you being a lawyer and you have to know your rights well enough to be able to advise different clients. Uh, one thing you can do is turn on or off the audio here. I think I've got the audio off right now for this recording. You can also play in Spanish or English and let's get going. Oh, I think I had already played. Um, and so like I'm on like day four and I've already got a whole bunch of lawyers. You start off with just one lawyer. And so this is going to look kind of fast because I'm going to have a whole bunch of clients coming in. Okay. So my first job is, is to walk up to the client. Oh my goodness. There's another one coming in already. It says the governor's mansion. You can have it read out loud to you, right? So you can read it. Uh, the governor's mansion is next door to my house. It has the perfect shed for storing my Justin Bieber doll collection. If I give a fair price, do I have a right to take the shed? Mm, no, you don't have a right. <laughs> okay, so he's gone. Let's go talk to this person. Uh, a police officer wrote warrant to search Grace's house on a napkin. What? He says that gives him a right to search my place. You have a right. Uh, we can help with that. Uh, that would be a Fourth Amendment right. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to talk to my Fourth Amendment lawyer. And underneath here, I can click here and it says Fourth Amendment valid warrant. So this is not a valid warrant. And so I'm going to click match. So if I match up my, per, my this case with the right lawyer, they're going to go win that case. My sister wants to buy a gun to protect herself, but our state's constitution says guns are illegal. Does my sister have a right to buy a gun? You have a right. We can help with that. We need to go to the second amendment guy over here because he's my second amendment case. When this little checkbox comes up, you got to click on that. Oh, so let me get the second amendment case going. You're a match. Okay. So now these two lawyers, the lawyer and the client have talked. I got to click there to send them off to court. Whoosh, now they're off the court. Oh, this guy's ready to go to court too. Whoosh. I got this guy starting to get angry. So I got to go talk to him before he leaves. Uh, after being found guilty of stealing a pair of shoes, I can leave a thousand hours community service. Then I was put on trial and sentenced for a hundred more hours. Do I have a right to stop the new sentence? You do. That's called no double jeopardy. Uh, I forget which right that is though. I'm going to go check out eight because I don't remember what eight is. Eight is reasonable bail and fines. The governor can't charge an unreasonable amount of bail. Um, the bail or fine can't fit the crime. Uh, maybe it's that one. How about the sixth one? Uh, speedy and public trial. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. This one seems like it's close. But I feel like I might, I might have told this guy the wrong thing. So... I'm going to say you have a right, but 
please but come back tomorrow because i don't think i have the lawyer yet that knows of, that that has that expertise so i'm gonna click come back tomorrow uh i think i just lost a client because he had been waiting too long oops i gotta come over and talk to this lady someone stole a, a stop sign from down from town and now the police are searching everyone's garages when they came to search mine i told them to stop but they searched anyway do i have a right to stop them yes we can help with that that's the unreasonable search and seizure clause that's number four no unreasonable searches that's a match oops she's starting to get it angry so it's going really fast paced because i've been playing this for a while um i'm in the military and want to move off the military base into a mansion nearby do i have a right to walk on in and pick the biggest bedroom off to a military uh, oh, I see what they're saying. No, you can't do that because of the Third Amendment, which is about quartering, I think. No, we don't have to house soldiers. Yep, the soldier can't just walk into your house and say that they get a room. Okay, this one's ready to go to court. This one's probably ready to go to court in just a second. See, these guys are all coming in and need to need help, but I'm going to pause on the new clients for a second because if you see up here that we won the case so that's good this one says ready for trial so i'm gonna send them up did i already send them up at trial so i, I just want to watch to see if we won the case here i probably should be over helping these guys see like another person just said, oh the client had no right sorry boss i lost the major sterling case unfortunately the the, the judge said our client didn't have a constitutional right so we lost 200 prestige points. Try and be more careful screening our clients. Hmm. I don't know what I missed on that one. So anyway, that gives you the idea. Um, can I pause this? Oh my goodness. It just keeps going, going until the, until the day is over. Once the day is over, um, I wonder if I can show what that looks like. <laughs> well, there's a bunch of good information in here. So matching rights, helping a client. So, you know, you can come in here and like, you know, asking questions. I was using these prestige points to kind of buy stuff. Like, so you can use prestige points to, um, to get new lawyers. Um, so yeah, at the end of the day, here we go. End of the day, I think there's like a seven days. Um, so lawyers have earned new rights. Oh, okay. So this lawyer now knows about freedom of religion. This no lawyer now knows about no cruel and unusual punishment. And this lawyer now knows about due process. Okay. But now that the day is over, um, this is going to give me like the daily prestige. It's going to talk about, um, you know, the things we did well, the things we messed up on. And then to start off the new day, I can uh, add new lawyers, add some stuff to my office or add ads. I don't feel like I need to add any ads. I got people coming in the door, but I'm going to add some new lawyers. And so if I look, I, I see I have one, two, six, five, three, one, four, four, eight. So I don't have any seven, nine, ten. I mean, I have a one, I have a five. So I'm sure I'm looking for a, a right that I don't have yet. Mm, I guess I have everything I need. If there was a if there was a um, a right that I didn't have like represented over here and it was available here i would want to i would want to add that lawyer to my to my bench you know to my to my law office here uh, other things you can do is you can look at uh, rights reviews so you can actually just like look through and see like what are the different rights um, if you want to just like double check yourself before you play the next round just like remember like which are the different rights uh, you can also check out your team and you can see like okay what are the different rights that this person knows about the Fourth Amendment, no unreasonable search or seizure. You can have it read out loud to you. Uh, the Fourth Amendment, valid warrant. And then the Fifth Amendment, you have to testify against yourself. Um, you can also look at my glossary and you can see, you know, um, the meanings of different words and your prestige points. You can add stuff to your office. Like I already added the cat, but maybe I'm going to add the dog by upgrade. Awesome. Okay. So once you've played this a couple of times, you're going to get um, a, a certificate um, that actually I can probably pull that up for you. Hold on. Yeah. Here's Miss Bedell's certificate. So Miss Bedell finished the game and this was her certificate. 
And so you can see all the cases that she got right with each amendment. And you can see the number of cases that she won, the number of cases that she correctly refused, uh, the fact that she has four pets. And so this is going to be what you upload uh, into the assessment um, to take the assessment. Um, and then we'll have you some, do some reflection on it as well. Okay. Sorry for the long video. Hope it was helpful. Bye.